self-esteem, I want to ask you uh, some questions, and I would appreciate if you answered them honestly. Of course. Do you regret what happened at Eric Cowell's 18th birthday party? Doctor, I came here to talk about the music. So you admit what you make is music? It is. It has been described as melodic complaining. It has. Poor me, period, core. Wishy-washy women's worries. Menstrual madness set to music. Not as good as slow club. What I'm getting at here, self-esteem, is that 20 years ago you released an album, Compliments Please, to an audience in a world that did not ask for it. And you think this is okay. At the time it felt like my calling and my duty to really create something that expressed myself. Your tits. Well, you can't actually see my tits on the cover. That, that was never the point. Go on. Delivering an album that sonically matched the depth and throbbing in my guts yeah. was something I was always going to do for myself. The fact that the world reacted in the way that it did was never my intention. The stampedes. It's not my fault there's only one HMV left in Greater London. The women fainting. I take full responsibility for confusing heterosexuals up and down the country. I sadly... Do you regret making the greatest album of all time and completely destroying music as we know it? That was an unfortunate oversight. When the album was released on the 1st of March 2019... The 1st of March 2019. Did you expect it to blow people away so chronically? In all honesty, Doctor, I did. How did you feel about the fact that your tour up and down the UK then sold out? I felt good, yet frustrated. I had been telling the masses that it was on sale, and I had also explained to my friends and my family that there would be a limited number of guest lists, and if they really loved me, they would pay the 13 f***ing pounds to come and see me, finally realised authentically on small to medium-sized stages in the UK. How did you combat your feelings of confusion? I said frustration. Now this is what I mean, self-esteem. This is why you're highly regarded as quite a difficult woman. The lyrics. Yes. They were... Honest. Too much. Raw. Indulgent. I would describe them... I would describe them as whingy. So there were 16 tracks on the album. Yes. Too many. Correct. And it was available on all streaming platforms, physically on vinyl and <laughs> compact disc. I was advised at the time that people still owned compact disc players. Losers. Well, yeah, gross losers, but my music is for the many, not for the few. And in the years since? I adopted everyone. That's right. And now everybody calls you mom. That's correct. Okay, we're gonna hold it there for a minute. Um, just take a, take five. Uh. You know, self-esteem, I have a little rule in which if I swallow my wedding ring, then I'm a free man. And I have exactly the time it takes to pass said ring through my own ring to cheat on my wife. Absolutely guilt-free, let me tell you now. Now listen, I can go quite some time, known up to a week before I pass a stool. I'll give you a second to think about it. Uh, go on then. <laughs>